Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a special video. I'm actually going to be doing a collaboration with my good friend Isha Gaming. And today we're going to talk about our top 10 PlayStation 5 games that we are most excited for. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and hand today's video over to Isha who will do the first pick. There are some games that I'm very much looking forward to, to play on my new PlayStation 5 when I decide to pick PlayStation 5 up. I'm maybe buying it on release, maybe later, I don't know, but these are the must-have games for me that I know that I will be picking up when they are available. Now the first game, it is coming out the 3rd of December, and that is Gods and Monsters, which was the first title of the game, but they did so many changes to the game that they rebranded the game over to be called Immortals Phoenix Rising. Now this is a game by Ubisoft. Ubisoft is known for Assassin's Creed, and it is an open world RPG, and you have controlled flight through gliding. So this game is heavily inspired by Zelda Breath of the Wild, as you can see. Same did Genshin Impact, a very recent game that I'm currently playing also, a video of that game on my channel. But it differs from Breath of the Wild when it comes to the actual combat. In Phoenix Rising, you have a set amount of abilities that you can also level up and also rotate around in combat. The game is very focused on exploring this very vast, open, big world. And that is just about the thing that I love doing the most in video games. I am very into open world games, so I'm just very much looking forward to exploring this game. Now you can climb everywhere and glide everywhere, and it's kind of hard to look at older video games in another light now after that I have been spoiled with exploring the world through climbing and gliding. I just simply love it. And this game is coming out for Switch, PS4, PS5 obviously, PC, Xbox One, and Series X and S. So it's coming out pretty much everywhere. And Stadia. It's also coming out on Stadia. The game also has small dungeons, like shrines, with puzzles to them. A lot of things to collect and a lot of things to upgrade. Questing and leveling and all that good stuff. This is a game that I am very much looking forward to. I wish I could play it right now, if you know what I mean. I'm so ready for this game. And it is coming out really soon now. And as you can also see from this gameplay footage, it has a really Greek mythology theme to it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, Immortals Phoenix Rising is definitely one of my top choices of a game. I do like that it looks a lot like Breath of the Wild. I'm excited. I actually got to do a sneak peek from Ubisoft themselves last month, and I got to play it for a couple of hours, and I cannot wait until the finished game is out. But for my first choice on this top 10 list, I would have to say is a game called Returnal. So Returnal kind of has like a creepy deep space vibe. I haven't gotten to see too much gameplay. All I've really had to go off of is this trailer that looks like it has some really dark atmospheric graphics. You know, like the whole horror sci-fi thing is always amazing to kind of take a look at and sit back and really enjoy. This game looks like it's going to have a pretty good atmosphere and a real good story. Judging by the graphics alone from this teaser trailer, it's going to look amazing. This definitely looks like a launch title game that is going to sink my teeth and keep me just addicted to it. And this is going to be probably one of my first buys on the PlayStation 5. I don't know much in way of it again. I haven't seen much gameplay other than what we've seen from this. Um, again, space sci-fi types of games and stuff like that always draw my attention because space is kind of like the unknown where you don't know what's out there. The evil monsters and creatures that can just kill you with their huge teeth and their claws and stuff like that. Oof. Just thinking about it is getting me pretty nervous here. Returnal looks like it's going to be pretty creepy just in time for uh, around the uh, Thanksgiving holidays when it's dark and scary outside and you don't know what is making that noise outside your window. So definitely a game that looks like it's right up my alley. Now another game that I'm so looking forward to playing on my PlayStation 5, and that is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This one is coming out really soon now, November the 12th. 
and it is actually the 22nd Assassin's Creed game to come out. It has, again, open world, and this time they went with a Viking theme, and the game also takes place in some parts of Norway. So this feels very at home for me. I am so much looking forward to seeing their version of Norway. I am Norwegian. So I feel sort of pride towards that also because you know i am a viking also and this game is coming out for pc playstation 4 playstation 5 stadia and xbox one and series x and s coming out everywhere but not the switch though it is an action rpg so if you have ever played any of the previous assassin's creed games origins or odyssey it's gonna be pretty much like that this time around as well with abilities that you can upgrade and also the possibility to approach each situation as you want to as you see fit you can approach it head on or the stealthy way by assassinating one and one from the group and this time you have Odin's sight to scan the area around you and highlight enemies so they have kind of gone back to the older roots of Assassin's Creed when it comes to exactly that now, I am very new to Assassin's Creed. It was earlier this year that I first discovered Assassin's Creed. I played Origins and I put 100 hours into Origins. I'm not joking. I was obsessed with the game and I played it every day and it was like the best game I had played earlier this year. So, you know, I'm a new fan to the Assassin's Creed series now and this one, I'm gonna enjoy it so much. Now, I am also looking forward to playing Assassin's Creed not just on the PS5, but also on the Xbox Series X. The Assassin's Creed games always have my attention. I always like the exploration elements brought to them. And the last one, Odyssey, was amazing. So I'm thinking Valhalla is going to be just as phenomenal. But another game that is coming out on the PlayStation 5, which we also haven't seen much beyond a teaser, is Project Athea. Now this one looks like it's going to definitely push the limits of the PlayStation 5 graphically wise. This is also made in part by Square. So it's going to be interesting to see what they bring to the table. So far this looks like it's going to be a 3D action adventure type of game. And it definitely looks like it's going to be an experience. I think this is going to be the sleeper hit for the PlayStation 5. It's not going to be coming out anytime soon. But I'm sure they're going to be keeping us up to date with all sorts of information as things come by. I, I probably see this game coming out like another year or two and oh man you could tell the hype that they're going to be putting behind this one is going to be unreal. Unfortunately we don't have much in way of gameplay footage when it comes to Project Athea but I do know that this is one that is going to be a must buy. I just have that feeling that, that you know the goosebumps that get on your skin when you see something that you know immediately is going to be worth checking out and that is exactly what project athea is going to be now when it comes to horizon forbidden west i was very happy when they announced this game because i loved horizon zero dawn when that was released in 2017 yeah it was 2017 and it is a game by gorilla games now horizon forbidden west is coming out in 2021 they haven't set a date yet but it is next year and it looks really good so far. It's coming out for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. No other consoles, only PlayStation 4 and 5. So I have a feeling that this game could actually be a console seller for some people. Now, in the game you still play as Aloy, which is a girl set in this post-apocalyptic world. So it is a game which is open world, again. I love open worlds. And you play in third person. The environment of the game is really fun. It is basically taking place in a technologically advanced world that has like almost reverted back to the age of the cavemen and from what i remember from zero dawn when i played that game i remember the combat was so fresh and so smooth and nice and i'm really looking forward to seeing more gameplay of this game and the hype is there because i know how good zero dawn was so i so much looking forward to playing this game now horizon forbidden west is going to be a great game Horizon Zero Dawn was a instant classic, a nice new IP that was introduced onto the PlayStation. I actually know somebody that wrote on the 
story. Her name is Ann Tool, and I'm just a big fan of her work in general. So having a personal friend that actually wrote for a video game that was one of the best PlayStation 4 games of all time is amazing. And I think she's going to get to work on this one too. So I'm excited to sink the teeth into it. But the next game that I have on here is an action-adventure game in itself that has my attention, and that's Godfall. Now, Godfall looks a lot kind of like a, a Dark Souls or a Demon Souls or even like a Skyrim where it's, you know, big armored characters that are taking on other armored characters and creatures and has like weapons and huge hack and slash mechanics and stuff. This is a game that needs to be connected online at all times and you're able to have up to parties of three hop in and out at any time to take on these missions and stuff. But I, I just love games that have this type of vibe and this atmosphere. Looking at some of the gameplay footage that I've seen recently pop up with all this PS5 news coming up and stuff like this. I can just tell this game is going to be amazing to look at, but most importantly, amazing to control and play. Um, again, it looks like this is going to have a pretty high degree of challenge behind it and a good little like story. Um, you know, I like that medieval dark evil like enemies types of like magic and just special types of weapons and swords and dragons and things like that this game looks like it has it all um and i'm looking forward to actually playing online with some of my friends on this this is a launch title too and i think this looks phenomenal looking at all the updates and stuff how fast this game loads and stuff i can already tell you guys all mixed opinion aside because i know a lot of people kind of have a mixed opinion about godfall because of the developer gearbox I think this game is going to be a sleeper hit, and you can quote me on that. Now this game, I don't know much about it, but it is called Kina Bridge of Spirits, and it is coming out this holiday. It is another Breath of the Wild vibe game, so you get that Zelda vibe. But it has a lot of platforming also, exploration obviously, which we all love, it seems like from the gameplay footage anyway. It is very similar to the other games that I've talked about so far in this video, so... You can see what kind of taste I have in games already here. It just looks like a great adventure. The combat looks really good, really smooth, with the dodging and the use of bow and arrow and of course your spear. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this game, definitely. So that was Kina Bridge of Spirits. Make sure you check out that game as well. Now my next game is Doom Eternal. And sure that's already out, sure it's already been out for 2020, but I can already tell you guys, when the PlayStation 5 version of Doom Eternal hits, this is going to be phenomenal. Doom Eternal already looks great on its own accord. It looks like a phenomenal... I remember playing this game and just being like, holy cow, is this probably one of the world's hardest video games I've ever played? And I put it down. Like, I literally rage quit because I just got stuck on one part. But I can tell you... The PlayStation 5 version of this one is going to be worth it, and it's going to be phenomenal. I can't wait to see what addition they add on to it, new modes, new content. But most importantly, I can't wait to look in awe at the evil-looking dark hell imagery that's going to be all over this. The monsters themselves, the demons, are going to look amazing on the PlayStation 5. This is probably going to be one of the coolest-looking PlayStation 5 games to look at, and I cannot wait to sink my teeth into this sucker right here. I sink my teeth into a lot of games, but Doom Eternal is gonna be one that definitely chomps on that. And speaking of games that are already out on the PlayStation 4 that I didn't get to try, Spider-Man Remastered, but most importantly, Spider-Man Miles Morales is going to be the most anticipated game for the PlayStation 5, at least for the launch year that I wanna check out. Now looking at the gameplay footage, I've seen everything from Spider-Cats to Rhino boss fights, to this amazing bridge fight that just really showcases how the combat system works on Miles Morales. Now, if you played the previous Spider-Man game on the PlayStation 4, it's an open world superhero game that has you playing as Spider-Man, but now they're gonna be adding Miles Morales on it, who's kind of like a, a mini sidekick, uh, like, um, an heir to the um, Spider-Man throne, so to speak. And I love open world games to begin with, but Spider-Man is probably my most favorite superhero character of all time outside of Wolverine and Batman. So I missed out on Spider-Man the first go around. So I'm going to make darn sure on the PlayStation 5, I pick this game up and sink the teeth into it because it looks amazing. Like just looking at this, you could tell Miles Morales for a launch title is already pushing 
the PlayStation 5 to its limit. Uh, looking at the cutscenes, cut looking at the way that the ray tracing and everything goes for these boss fights, the combat mechanics, it looks like it's going to be a really enjoyable game, and I'm absolutely excited for it. Uh, you know, Spider-Man has always been really cool, and being able to control him or Miles Morales in video game form is like a buttery knife going into a hot pie. If that makes any sense. But yeah, if you haven't played it, open world game has you playing as the web crawler as you go from mission to mission, slinging and exploring your way through New York. Lots of hours to sink into this game, lots of Easter eggs. If you haven't played it as well, it's going to be a launch title that you'll be able to sit down and enjoy for plenty of hours. This is my top pick for a PlayStation 5 game that I'm most excited about, that I think is going to be like. Probably the best game during the launch year for this console until like God of War and all the other titles start to come out. So that's my last pick. And now we're going to get to Isha's last pick. Now I have a thing for 3D platformers. Now there is announced a new Ratchet & Clank game. I am new to the Ratchet & Clank series. I've never played a Ratchet & Clank game before, but this looks super fun and it looks really good. So I, I love having fun in 3D platformers. I'm very happy with like Super Mario 3D All-Stars being released just now and I gotta have that fixed sometimes. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna pick this game up, but I have my eyes on it at least. So I also wanted to showcase that game uh, on here. I have a thing for very colorful and fun games because video games are for me a reality escape and I'm sure it is for you too. Thank you so much for having me and as always you can watch my videos over at my, at my channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me and as always you can watch some of my videos over on my channel as well. I-R-C-H-A Isha Gaming and yeah thanks for having me and I will see you later. And well guys, there you go. This is mine and Isha Gaming's top 10 PlayStation 5 games that we're most excited about. Special thanks to Isha Gaming for collabing with me. It's been a while. She's a great friend. If you guys have not subscribed to her channel, why don't you go ahead. I'll leave a link down in the description down below and a little end screen card so you guys can give her a subscription. Show her the love. She's amazing. I adore her. She's one of my greatest friends and... I will see you guys on the next one. Maybe we'll have another collab soon. Thanks a lot, Isha, and thanks a lot, guys, for watching, as always. I'll see y'all very soon.